you want to sit next to me, love, or do you just not like me today? Sit next ah! to me! <laughs> Can you imagine if I spoke to you like that all the time? Yeah! <laughs> okay, comfy. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> Woo Never mind about that. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined with one of my favourite people in the entire world. It's Mark Ferris. Hello Zoe and viewers. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Baby. Yeah, really good. Oh. There's so much to tell you. Oh my you. god, <laughs> tell me everything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really our video. I, would, I actually think people would watch that though. What, if we just updated each yeah, other? Yeah, if we just have a natter. You may notice I have a different makeup look today, and that is because my makeup has been done courtesy of Mark! Yay! Which you can go on over and watch after this video on his channel! He did my makeup again. You all liked it last time, so he thought it would do like a refresh. Yeah, it's like a summer summer vibe. Yeah. yeah. And I actually think you did a bloody great job. <laughs> I've only like neatened a few bits. Anyway, in today's video I thought it would be fun for us to do the most likely two Challenge. Challenge quiz. Yeah. Um, I tend to do this quite a lot with lots of my friends and it's something we haven't done yet. I know, and I feel like it's something that people would want to know. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we've got our cards. Okay, you ready? Question one. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm going to take this really seriously. Most likely to leave a show or the cinema if they are not enjoying it. Oh. oh. Hard, you know. Me. Yeah. I feel like the only reason I'd ever leave a cinema or a show if people around me were speaking to me. But not if you weren't enjoying the film. Yeah. 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 I just bite the bullet. I would think I would leave if it got to like if I was if I was at the theater and it got to like half time I'd, and I really wasn't enjoying it I'd be like. <laughs> I think I would stay um, and just bite the bullet and just see what happens. Yeah, but generally, generally speaking, I've, I've never have done that. Yeah, it's very rare, isn't it, that yeah. it would happen, but on the off chance. Because also, when you're watching a film, you think, oh, it'll get better <gasps> in a minute. I have left. <laughs> it was the hateful eight. And you just left? It was so long and I just left. And I left my friends in there I said, I'm sorry, I can't <laughs> No, because it was their sort of film, it was Quentin Tarantino's film, nothing against him, I love his films. But it was so thinky and chatty and so much dialogue and I was like, I'm not in the right headspace, so I left. Most likely to tweet something they're supposed to text. <laughs> <laughs> Just download you have, You literally have done that, that's why I'm like, Mark, I for know. sure. Of all the things I could have texted you, I'm glad it was that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even though it's still a bit like, oh, I can't believe you just, that's such a bizarre thing for Mark to, uh, to tweet. I did, when you tweeted that to me, I was like, oh, you weren't meant to tweet that to yeah, me. Yeah, I, I think like, he was meant to text that to me. And we then would... it disappeared, and I was like, oh. <laughs> but everyone saw it. I think it was because we were tweeting back and forth. And texting as well. Yeah, and I, was, I got confused. <laughs> oh. Who's, who would be most likely to get lost on the underground? See, I said that because obviously I'm from London, but I do get lost. I still I'm don't actually going to say you. Really? Because I am so meticulous about following rules and directions. Yeah. That I don't, like, I've never got lost on the underground, even when I didn't understand the underground, because I'm so like, right, I'm going to make a plan, I'm going to write it down in my notes, yeah. I'm going to know exactly when to get off, exactly, like, so I couldn't get lost, but you're a bit more like, I'll just jump on and see where I go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm getting an Uber like tonight because I'm just like I'm not gonna be able to find her. <laughs> even though I've li like lived it, even though I've lived near London. <laughs> um, do I ever feel what? Do you ever? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Who is most likely to end up in A and E in another country? Oh. I'm gonna say you, babe. I'd be doing something silly, wouldn't I? You'd slip or you'd walk into something. Yeah, or I'd get into like. A, a kerfuffle, wouldn't I? A kerfuffle. Yeah, a kerfuffle. Who is most likely to <laughs> to be sent to prison for 24 hours? Ooh. 
Or held held in jail for 24 hours. I'm going to say, three, two, one. I'm going to say you. But it will just be something so innocent that you didn't realise. Yeah. Because again, I like to follow rules. <laughs> I know. I, I would be very surprised if I got put in prison for 24 hours. I can't even imagine what you'd get put away for. I think it, if it was me, it would be being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. So it would be something else happening and I'd get caught up in it. Yeah. If it was you, I, I feel don't like know. that could be the same with me actually. Yeah. Like on a night out, like I'd try and be the peacemaker of something going on, and I'd be the one. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Most likely to slap someone by accident. <laughs> See, I'm gonna say me. Ooh, really? I already have. Who? I'm joking. <laughs> Anymore. I can't imagine. Like a proper EastEnders slap. Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be caught up in some drama and be like, I can't believe you said that! <laughs> you ain't my mother! <laughs> yeah. Realistically, I'm not sure either of us could ever slap anybody. No, we're not violent at all. <laughs> no, I'd be like... <laughs> yeah. Got to slap my face? No. That, like, slap my hand? <gasps> Ow. <laughs> Most likely to get an acting career. <laughs> Mark! <laughs> Both of us? Oh. Well, that's not one. It was just because of your acting. <laughs> Most likely to join a club. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to say you. Both actually. of us? Oh, I'm not good at clubs. No. Never have been. <laughs> I, I've, I've done a few club things. Yeah, I feel like you'd join a club. Mm. You'd join a club like. I don't know. Picking up litter. Oh really, is that what you want to do? <laughs> well, like environmental stuff. Is that what you mean? No, like a, no. <laughs> like an art club or a clay, like clay oh. making or like, or like yoga club. Yeah. I, I'm a bit scared of clubs. Why? I don't like being in an environment that I'm not familiar with, with people I'm not familiar with. Mm. When it's a small group. So if you're there for like the whole thing. Oh. Even the thought of it makes makes my stomach go. Funny. Really? So like, if you're if you're going to a yoga class and you know that all the people there are just to go for the yoga, I would never go on my own to a class ever. Really? No, no. Mm. Maybe that should if be one thing like you do this year. A photography club, which would be really interesting, or oh. like a calligraphy club or a course. I just wouldn't. Card making. I can't do it. And I, I've been like it my whole life. Like my mum would drop me off as a kid to like a kids club, and I would just hate it. Oh. I, I can't feel comfortable unless I had like you there mm. but I feel like that doesn't count. Like, What would it feel? I dropped you off. <laughs> <laughs> Makes no difference mate. What, I was there for five minutes? No. No. That's what my parents used to do. <laughs> Who's most likely to get kicked out of a uh, life drawing class? <laughs> if we were in it together yeah, we'd both get kicked out. <laughs> yeah. Most likely to bungee jump. It's got to be you in it, mate. Yeah. Did oh, you think me? Or did no, you it was wrong. <laughs> would you actually bungee jump? Yeah, would you in... Oh, wait, bungee jump. Yeah, a million percent. I would never. What about indoor skydiving? Yeah, I'd do that. I actually do want to skydive <gasps> sometime in my life. Yeah. But I, I don't want to bungee jump. Like, I don't the... feel like I'm missing out on anything if I don't bungee jump. Is it the risk of death? No. Oh. I'm just a bit worried that I'll feel anxious in the plane on the way up. <laughs> what about bungee jumping then? Oh no. Do you know what it is about bungee jumping? Uh, uh, it's so 50-50. There's people that will say it was the worst thing I've ever done. I would never do it again. Why did I even do it? And there's people that are like, oh, I love it. I've done it eight times. You're right. <laughs> and I'm just like, how can anyone throw themselves off? Yeah. Like, when you're doing a skydive, you're in a plane, you're attached to someone else, you both sort of someone, fall yeah. with someone. But on a bungee jump, you have to be the one to do it. Or you can have someone push you. But I don't think you can, I don't think that's safe. Because then you fall funny. I'd rather have someone push me in the, the right way. <laughs> like, but I think I'd do it, it's just the... Can I come with you when you do it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. The thing it, is... I feel like it'll be one of those things that make you go... <laughs> <laughs> you know what <laughs> Oh. That's 
what it would do. Yeah. <laughs> when I hit, when I hit the, the thing at the bell. The floor. It's like, no, no, the floor. <laughs> when, I, when you get to the bottom of it and it just like, pulls you back up and you're like... Oh. <laughs> do it, do it. When you're like jumping and then it's like stops and it, the string goes like that and you're like... Oh. <laughs> Who is most likely to not shower for a week? <laughs> that is hard. I love you. <laughs> I love you, it but me. yeah, I've got to shower every day. Mark is like super clean. I'm clean. <laughs> I shower every day. Can I just point out? But if, if I don't know, I've always got to get ready, and I. Yeah. I'm always getting ready. Like, for I honestly think you'd shower three times a day if you had the time. Yeah. Who is most likely to have plastic surgery? <gasps> oh. I think you. Yeah. <laughs> because you love your beauty. You're like really into like, like it interests you. I love it. It would always be like to enhance what I have. It wouldn't be like, not that I'm against it obviously, but like it would never be something so drastic it would change my whole entire yeah. life. It would just be like little nips, little tucks, anything. When I'm older. Little injections yeah. here and there. I'll do it for you if you want. Would ya? <laughs> would you let me? I would let you if it was yeah. real. If I had a, if I did a, it could be my club. <gasps> Botox club. I'll learn how to do Botox. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this woman ran out of money, so she started injecting cooking oil into her face and her <gasps> face blew up. <gasps> I'm not laughing. You did though. <laughs> Why would you do that? Because she, she just got addicted to the surge. Oh gosh. Most likely to fart in public. <sighs> it's gotta be me, innit? It? It's gotta be you, love. I do it anyway. But do you? I don't think we've ever been out and you farted in public that I've known of. I'm sure you do. Maybe I don't do it in public. Yeah, I've never. We've never been in a but shop and you've been like, I need to fart. I wouldn't <laughs> like, hold do it. it. No. I mean, if it was gonna be loud, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. That would be really awkward. Imagine standing in the queue at the bank and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I would never do that. Would you be embarrassed? If like- Do you know what I would honestly do? If I was in a queue at a bank and I fired and it was loud, yeah. I'd go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? <laughs> it's like, you know when you trip on a curb and you look at the curb like, oh. yeah, yeah. but you're like, like, it's like you look behind you like, oh, what have I fallen on? Yeah. <laughs> anytime, anytime I trip on the curb, I'm like, I look down and I'm like annoyed at the floor, like, how oh, dare you? Yeah, where'd you come from? <laughs> Most likely to be told off. I'm gonna say you. I'm gonna say both of us. Yeah. My thing is though, is because I like to abide by the rules. Yeah. Like in school, being told off was like. Really? I'm scared of being told off. Okay. I'm scared of authoritative figures. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone older than me. <laughs> I don't know, have you ever had to tell me off? Never. I encourage it. <laughs> Most likely to go on holiday on their own. Or like, take a little trip away on their own. Or go to a hotel on their own. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say you. Oh no. No. <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> <laughs> would you not like go to Alexander House for the night? On my own? Yeah. Wouldn't you? No. I was going to plan something like that for me tomorrow night. Just a night away from myself. But I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Just the space, the open air. Like, I'm not used to all this space. Like, we're very enclosed where we're from, aren't we? Yeah, Mark lives in a cage. Yeah. <laughs> so whenever he can. <laughs> whenever I can get at. <laughs> when have you ever known me to be fully on my own, ever? Without Nala, without anyone? Never. Exactly. Mm. What would I do? But like you go to a really nice hotel suite, order in, sit in your dressing gown, put Netflix on, have a bath, chill, relax, open the window, have some cups of hot chocolate. But what if like, I don't know, the person working there was a viewer and they were like, why is the weather on a room? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then I would feel weird. Just be like, when they answer the door, oh, it's, it's all right, it's just the person with the food. That's what I would do. <laughs> Who is most likely to sell all their worldly possessions? <laughs> Even the thought of it is like sending you into like 
I've got to say it. Uh, I think me. I think one day I have a mental breakdown. <laughs> no, you won't. I'll sell everything I own mm. and I'll go to Alex after house on my own. <laughs> you couldn't. Do you know what though? Sometimes I do feel a little bit like, well, I might just like get rid of everything. How? Well, you know, sometimes you meet people and they have nothing. Yeah. And you're like, that's really sad, and you're so happy, mm. and you don't have everything I have. Mm. And it really opens your eyes, this is getting really deep now, it really opens your eyes to how much you don't need things. Yeah, that's what they say, money can't buy happiness. Or money does not buy you happiness. A million percent not. Hell no. No, definitely. I've had some of my happiest <clears throat> times before I had money. Mm. I've had happy times when I've had money too. Oh, sorry, Pinker. Right. <laughs> but it's not, any ha it's not any happier because I have money. Mm. Interesting. So yeah, I think I would. I, I mean, I'm, like... I'm not planning to. Yeah. It's not something I'm planning to do, but... Out the two of us. When you see people that are so happy with a tenth of what I own, mm. I'm like, I don't need all this. Yeah. What do I need all this for? That's sh Don't need that. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Who's... Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here we go. Who's most likely to say something to a close friend if they've annoyed them? Ooh, really? Oh, really? But the thing is, we've never done this to each other. No. But I am too. If someone's annoyed me, yeah, I have I have to tell them yeah. that I'm upset or that they've annoyed me. I can't leave it. <coughs> can't leave it. That's good. Always, always, always. Because if you value that friendship, yeah, it's worth keeping. It's worth resolving. Would you do it there and then on the spot, or would you let it simmer down and then? Oh. See, I feel that's where we're different. I feel like I'd do it straight away. I don't like confrontation. No. I don't like face-to-face -face confrontation because I, f I don't have confidence. This sounds really weird, but I don't have confidence in myself mm. to say the right thing. But in my head, I know what I want to say, but it never comes out properly. I'm getting right. a lot better at it. It's the same in meetings um, because obviously, like, I have to have awkward conversations in my, like, role mm. as with what I do. There are conversations I find really uncomfortable and there are times when I have to say if I don't like something mm. and I was awful at it. So I feel like maybe I could. Obviously I do with Alfie. If he says something to me that I don't like, I'll be like, I don't like that. But I think I'm more of like a sit on it, think about it. Because I also think sometimes it's bad to act in anger. Mm. Yeah. And I can't, I can't fully trust that I'll say the right thing if I'm very angry. Mm. Not that I get angry a lot, but if I'm really upset and my emotions are very raw, I worry that I'll say something wrong and it might make it worse. So I sort of sit on it, I breathe a bit, and then I'll either like message them or ring them. Yeah, I think that's where we're different. Where I get myself into sticky situations by saying, don't like that. <laughs> Straight away and it would just be like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. But, I think it really depends on the situation, doesn't it? Yeah, I feel like if someone's like mugging someone off in the group, I'd be like, no, I don't like that because it's not fair or something like that. But obviously if it's banner, it's different. But, or if someone was bitching about someone that I really cared about, I'd have to say something there and then. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know, I just... Oh, I'm quite like, <laughs> if someone's saying something I don't agree with, I'll say I don't agree with that. Mm. I so don't necessarily like... get into like an argument about it, but I'd be like, mm, I don't agree with that. Yeah. I don't think that's right. My, uh, my, uh, my. Look what I'm right. Mo <laughs> <laughs> Look what I'm right. Look what I'm right. Who is most likely to go to the toilet with the door open? Mm. <laughs> I'm going to say you. <laughs> I literally did it all day yesterday. <laughs> you did it like nine times yesterday. <laughs> that feather just come out of my mouth. I don't know if it came out of mine. <laughs> It came out of yours, but into mine, came out of mine. <laughs> Most likely to re-watch all their favourite TV shows over and over again. I feel like you've got a select few. I do watch, see if you can name them, extra points. Call the Midwife. Yeah. Gavin and Stacey. Yeah. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's literally it. Oh no, yeah. one more. Bake Off. Yeah, would you, you would watch reruns of the Bake Off. Yeah. Um, whereas mine, I'm very like... You like new things. Yeah, I'm always watching new things. I very rarely go back and watch a series. Yeah, I need to like... Get out more. <laughs> <laughs> um, Most likely to pack too much for a holiday. Oh, well, <laughs> that ain't hard. <laughs> really? really? It's the authorities, Mark! 
You, Mark, when you come to my house, you bring two litre bottles of water. <laughs> you bring, you don't just bring your hair stuff, you bring the wooden box your hair stuff sits in, in your bedroom. Like, you legit pack up your whole room and bring it. I like my home comforts. I honestly thought it'd be a torn. The wooden box was a highlight for me. That was the first and only time I ever did it. <laughs> but you're always prepared. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm never like, oh, I wish I brought that. Never. But I've never. I've never forgotten anything. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to complain about their food in a restaurant if it's not right? Oh god. Oh, no, I would never. <laughs> Why didn't you? No, I eat it cold, I eat it raw, I can't. Oh, would I you not? I would, no, I'm easy. What, okay, so what happens if you get like a pube in your risotto? Oh my god. What would you do? I'd take it out. I'd... And then carry on eating it. Yeah. So this is ideally, I'll eat around it. this is what I would actually do. I would find a hair in my food. Mm. If it's a pube, no. To be fair, even if it's a, someone's head hair, I can't. I can't carry on eating the food. Really? Yeah. I'll pull the hair out, or I'll see the hair. Then I'll make a big fuss to everyone around me. Oh my god, guys! There's a hair in my food. Look, there's a hair. And then I know that someone else will say. Really? Alfie would say. Amanda would say. Poppy would hundred percent say. Really? So then I never have to do it. I would. And then I would order something else. Really? Thing is, you can say it in a nice way. Like they always say it, and they're always like, "Oh, like you know, when someone comes over, is everything okay with the food?" They're yeah. Like, I'm afraid we found a little pube in there. <laughs> I don't think is I've this ever said yours, anything. Yours, love. <laughs> it looks it. <laughs> um, I'd eat anything. You would eat food if you found someone's pube. Are you kidding me? But like, me? I, if it was a pube, I, okay, okay, it would be different. Okay, if you found a maggot, like, if it was moldy oh, and yeah. there was a maggot, what would you do? Come off it, I would send it back, 100%. What would you say? I'd be like, there's a f***ing animal <laughs> in, my, in my plate. <laughs> that is pushing the barrel out. But if it was like a little hair from your head, I'd just pull it out and just eat around it. Who is most likely to change a tyre? <laughs> I'm gonna say me, but I think I'd struggle. I'd help, but I wouldn't know what I was doing. Can you even imagine the two of us trying to change a tyre? It would be so funny. I don't know how to change a tyre. <laughs> they don't teach you in school. They don't teach you about taxes, tyres or the government. I think we'd just ring Alfie. Or the AA. Or the AA. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to fall asleep during a party? <laughs> Not if we're at the same party. <laughs> I'll tell you that for now. <laughs> You'd be like, you dare. Shut your get eyes. Up. Have a shot of water. Most likely to get up early at the weekend, even if they have nothing to do. That'd Zoe. Be, that would be me as well. Yeah, I can't imagine you having to lay in. <laughs> I know. Do you remember that one time we both woke up really late and we were like, what? Yeah, it was like half ten. Half ten. I know. But it's I crazy. slept until half ten and we didn't go to bed that late, like 1 a.m. What were we doing? It was the chitty chitty bang bang night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All them leg raises. Most likely to go to the gym. I'm going to say me because I did I'm used to. I'm going to say you too. Yeah. Um, I was so good for a while. And you'd go to some of those fun classes. Oh my god, I really but want again, to do spin class. I struggle with the classes. Please come spin class with me. Spin class? Yeah. Isn't that like intense? Yeah. You can go at your own speed. Just us on a bike, like with all the music going, with the rave. But then what if I want to leave? <laughs> you can. <laughs> <laughs> We're like Superman and woman. Or Batman and Robin. <laughs> Superman and woman. <laughs> we are Superman and woman. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed this! That was funny, it was so yeah. Fun. We definitely know each other very well. We do, yeah. I feel like if we don't, we we go the extra mile and tell him oh, Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've lost it. <laughs> Bring back the Easter basket. <laughs> Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to check Mark out. I will leave all his information Thank below. You. Go and check out the video we filmed on his channel. And I will see you again very soon. See ya. Tura, loves. Tura. Tura, tura.